My work has many voices, and if I were to speak all of them, it would be chaotic. Between echoes of the past and the present, there's a longing and belonging, remembering what was and is. I'm an African every day, and all I can express is what I know and what I wish for others to know or see. I collect paper materials for my collage paintings, particularly African lips and eyes, and mix them with my acrylic paintings. My portraits before never had faces, because I wanted to be as relative as possible. Also, I wanted to relate to them without imposing a certain identity to them, except of being black, being African, and being a woman. Most of my portraits are not active figures. Almost biographical, they are like mirrors, feeding, taking, and receiving and mostly observing, just as I am. My obsession with African portraits, I think, is also an obsession with myself. Navigating the world, how we are perceived, how I am perceived, being me, being black, being African, being a woman in this world. Almost invisible, still unheard. And spoken for, always told who to be and who I am not. Africa has always been associated with creativity. The details in body face and fabric paintings, the beadings, the using of nature to be part of the human body art. All these have voices, they have meanings. But as time has passed, the world has become a narrator to who Africans are and were. Our voices are blurred with the noise and those who speak for us. Our languages are disappearing and we are becoming. We are born spiritual. Our heart beats, our breathing, a birth of a child, a blink of an eye, the music to the sound of our feet when we dance and move, the setting of the sun and the blink of the stars to the sound of the owls. Christianity is seen as something that took away from Africans, but I see Christianity as what Africans were before it was called Christianity. One with the Spirit. With Africans, everything has meaning. I think true to my name, Mutsumi, which means hunter. I am hunting for that meaning through my work. In our languages and my name, I miss the noise, all that we are slowly forgetting. I am trying to remember what my spirit is longing for today. My name is Palisa Mutumi and I'm a visual artist, born and raised in Johannesburg, South Africa.